Michigan State College of Human Medicine has been in existence for more than 50 years. We're excited because the medical school has 191 seats in each class and we have more than 7,000 applicants for each year. The college has undergone some recent expansion. Uh, we have seven clinical campuses around the state, the three largest being here in Grand Rapids, East Lansing, and Flint, Michigan. Uh, recently, the university has invested heavily in biomedical research, including this $90 million facility here, which is the headquarters for the College of Human Medicine, and an $88 million biomedical research building just across the street from us. So the strength of the partnership between Michigan State University College of Human Medicine and the Benandel Institute is centered primarily around research. The Division of Psychiatry and Behavioral Medicine at Michigan State University has some really excellent faculty working on the difficult problem of depression. Dr. Lena Brunden is a researcher who works in the area of inflammation and depression and its impact on severe depression and suicidality. There is actually quite a lot of evidence building up from many different laboratories that depressive patients have increased levels of inflammation in the blood. In our lab particularly, we have been studying suicidal patients, and it turns out that this group of patients have the very highest levels of inflammation in the blood, and also in the cerebrospinal fluid surrounding the brain. This is a very exciting area because there is the potential of finding novel treatments that could help depressive and suicidal patients. So if we're targeting inflammation, there are potential treatments already available that we can use in clinical trials. Right now we're doing a large clinical study in uh, pregnant women. So we're looking at the levels of inflammation during pregnancy and also in the placenta at delivery. And the hypothesis then is that the placenta might secrete those inflammatory substances that can trigger perinatal depression in susceptible women. Dr. Kevin Fermaga is working in the area of personalized treatments for depression. Um, he's studying the impact that pharmacogenomic testing can have on antidepressant selection in individuals with depression. The variability in response to medications is in part due to our genetic makeup. What we hope to do with pharmacogenomic testing is identify patients who may have altered pharmacokinetic or altered pharmacodynamic genes that would either help us select a more effective treatment or avoid a treatment that is more likely to fail or cause adverse effects. With any given antidepressant, uh, patients with major depression, uh, their depression remits about 30% of the time. What we hope to do is use pharmacogenomic testing uh, of, of those genes that are linked to antidepressant response and tolerability to see if we can improve on um, the treatment outcomes for depression. In addition to all of the resources of a Big Ten University, we have uh, community partners that are extremely strong in different areas. Pine Rest Christian Mental Health Services is our clinical partner. They've been around for over 110 years providing excellent patient care to individuals here in West Michigan. We serve 40,000 different individuals a year, and anywhere from outpatient services to acute inpatient services and residential as well. Because of that, it's a great place to come and work as a clinician. It's a great place to come and be a faculty member and teach. It's also a great place to come and and practice research. And anyone who comes here is going to find all kinds of opportunities for their career, for research, for teaching, that we think would be hard to find anywhere else in the country. Another important collaboration between the Michigan State University College of Human Medicine and Pine Rest is in the area of the development of psychiatric fellowships. The first fellowship to begin will be in child and adolescent psychiatry. This fellowship is scheduled to open in July of 2017 and will accept three new fellows per year for each of two years of training. In the coming years, we're planning additional fellowships in consult liaison psychiatry, geriatrics, addictions, and forensics. We have a huge need, we have a huge hospital, and to fill that need, we have a fairly large residency program. We, we are shooting for eight residents a year. We may actually increase that in the future to 10 residents a year. Beyond that, in our fellowships, we're probably going to be accepting anywhere from two to four fellows a year in our child and adolescent program. Dr. Vitaly Voitenko has been spearheading the collaboration between the Michigan State University College of Human Medicine and Pine Rest in its application to be part of the National Network of Depression Centers of Excellence. As part of the Depression Center project, we are implementing evidence-based 
approaches to depression care throughout our clinical network. We're also leading the way in implementing measurement-based care to allow us to see which treatment conditions allow patients to get better. In addition, patients who don't improve with standard care can now benefit from our treatment-resistant depression consultation program. In 2010, we were invited to join the National Institutes of Mental Health RAISE research program. RAISE stands for Recovery After an Initial Schizophrenia Episode, and this important program, which was led by John Kane, look to provide coordinated specialty care for individuals and their families experiencing a first episode of psychosis. The results from this research program were published recently and as a result Congress passed an act to support funding for further first episode treatment. I think we have all of the key elements here to create um, an incredible academic program in psychiatry. Really the sky's the limit in what we can do in terms of research and patient care that will affect patients both here locally in West Michigan, around the state, around the country, and around the world. <laughs>